Hi everyone, Miss Chris here at Palm Harbor Library, here to book talk dragons for this summer's Imagine Your Story reading theme. Now, I love dragons. Scary ones and not so scary ones for our youngest members. We're gonna have a little story with a rhyme about some dragons, but first I wanna tell you about some great books you could check out at the library. If you're into poetry, The Dragons Are Singing Tonight by Jack Perlutsky has some awesome illustrations of all kinds of dragons, dragon eggs, dragon kingdoms. Might wanna be a book you'd like to check out. Another one I really like is James Mayhew's Who Wants a Dragon? It's a really cute story to share before bedtime or any time for reading. And if chapter books are your thing, check out the Secret Rescuers series by Paula Harrison. The storm dragon is just one of the cute little creatures you can learn about. My other favorite is the baby firebird. All right, let's get to our rhyme for today. It's about 10 dizzy dragons. 10 dizzy dragons lived long, long ago in a land full of magic where few people go. The first dragon wore a garland of flowers. There they are. And the second dragon had strong magic powers. The third dragon flew wildly through the air and landed right up there. And the fourth dragon lived in a jeweled lair. Ooh, that means he had a cave full of jewels and treasure. The fifth dragon rescued people who were in trouble. Help, help, save me, and he did. And the sixth dragon, he liked to blow pretty bubbles. <laughs> so number five rescues people in trouble, but number six is all about fun. He just likes to blow bubbles. The seventh dragon wore a crown made of gold. Mm. And the eighth dragon had a heart that was very brave and very bold. The ninth dragon had a breath that was like smoky green fire. And the tenth dragon Oh my goodness, he always told the truth. He was just an awful liar. Oh my goodness. These 10 dizzy dragons lived long, long ago in a land full of magic where a few people could go. And our story dragons today are cuddled up right next to our little dragon lantern. If you'd like to know how to make this upcycled craft, tune into our demonstration. Have fun guys this summer and happy reading.